tributes are flooding in for the late Free State Education MEC Tate Mahwe. He was killed in a car crash in Winburg in the early hours of this morning. His protector also died while his driver is in hospital. Let's get some more reaction now. Uh, we're joined virtually by Basil Manuel, who is the executive director of NAPTOSA. That's the National Professional Teachers Organization of South Africa. Basil, thank you so much for your time on what is a very sad morning for so many in the education sector, especially those that we've spoken to this morning. Um, your reaction on receiving the news of the MEC's passing? Good morning, Marcel, and thanks for giving me this opportunity. Uh, at first to express our sincere condolences with the family, the immediate family, but then to the extended family, the family of education, both provincially and nationally. We certainly have lost one of the uh, very, very dedicated, one of the committed, enthusiastic uh, MECs, and who has shown that having a vision counts for something. Knowing where you're going counts for something. And he certainly took the province in a direction that today we recognize as having been a sterling job done. And so it is in that framework that I want to convey condolences and also acknowledge the work of MEC Tate. Um, we've heard various stories. We've heard anecdotes from people this morning, those who've worked side by side uh, with him, all speaking about rather personal moments where um, uh, Tate Mahwe's personal passion for education shone through in and amongst the day-to-day -day work that he was doing. This is a man who really had a passion for the work that he, that he was doing, and it really shone through in the results that he was finally getting um, in the education sector in the Free State. Absolutely, Marcel. The one thing that stands out for me with the, with the late MEC is that he was a lifelong learner. He himself led by example. If you look at his achievements in terms of his personal uh, studies, it indicates that he knew what education was about. He had a love for the system of education. And that is what we need. We need somebody committed, somebody wanting to do the job and being happy with the job. He loved his job and even mm -hmm. When I briefly met him at the, uh, the release of, of the matric results this year, I joked with him and I said, are you still in competition? He, and he said to me, no, that's over. We are at the top. And it's these type of things that uh, gave one an indication of who the person really was and what he wanted. He was committed. But more than that, it wasn't just about uh, matric results. We had differences with uh, assessment styles and things like that. But it was about how he differed and how he always focused on the bigger picture and never the person mm. that he was differing with. And that is the quality of leader that I wish to remember and pay tribute to. And, and to his family who has lo lost a breadwinner and a wonderful example to say to them, he's run the race and he did it extremely well. You can justifiably be proud of all his achievements. Mm. Um, we believe that he um, had set in si his sights on um, education at a grassroots level, at a foundation phase, apparently, it was a big part of his passion. And he was pouring a lot of his own personal energy and resources in that. Because you speak about somebody who believed in the big picture, he knew that time and resources spent on those important years in a young child's education uh, will see the benefits reaped uh, uh, later on. A and having somebody believing in that is something that our education sector is uh, uh, very desperately needed, isn't it? And it's an example that I think we need to emulate. Since the whole idea of, of the shift of, of uh, <clears throat> the pre-primary and uh, to, to education, we've seen how he has embraced it, how he's taken to trying to get as many of those schools that are in community halls, et cetera, back into the formal education system. And by recognizing that the foundation of education is what needs fixing gives us an indication of the type of vision he had and certainly he has also shown us <clears throat> what needs emulation in the education system we can't simply just think it's about results it is about educating the whole child and he typified that particular view
Beautifully said. That's Naptosa Executive Director Basil Manuel joining us virtually and sharing his thoughts on a sad morning in the education sector following the news of the very, very untimely death of the Free State's Education MEC, Tate Mahwe.